I'm the Grinch that stole Christmas. <laughs> DVS, Descriptive Video Service, page one of one. DVS, Descriptive Video Service, provides narrated descriptions of a program's key visual elements for people who are blind or visually impaired. This DVD includes an audible menu navigation feature that can be turned on or off from any menu screen by pressing 1 and enter or 1 and select on your DVD remote control. If you are hearing voice prompts now, this feature is already active. Press the left or right arrow keys until you hear Return to Bonus Materials menu, then press Enter. Please ignore the Yes and No options. Yes. No. Return to Bonus Materials menu.
young man's compost tape is another man's whole career. Jury duty, jury duty, jury duty, blackmail, pink slip, chain letter, eviction notice, jury duty. <laughs> One man's compost tape is another man's cold parade. Jury duty, jury duty, jury duty, blackmail, pink slip, chain letter, eviction notice, jury duty. <laughs> <laughs> One man's compost tape is a jury. Man. One man's compost tape is another jury man's duty, cold jury parade. Duty, jury duty, blackmail, pink slip, chain letter, eviction notice, jury duty. One man's compost tape is another man's cold parade. What is that stench? I must stop this whole thing. Why, for year after year, I put up with it now. I must stop this Christmas from coming. Yes, this Christmas music. It's joyful and triumphant. Hate, 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 hate. Double hate. Loathe entirely. You're the, 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 the Grinch. Cheer up, dude. It's Christmas. I don't want to make waves, but this whole Christmas season is stupid, stupid, stupid! One man's compost tape is another man's whole career.
You want to know what happens to your gifts? <laughs> you want to know what happens to your gifts?
wrong now. You did the right thing. Stay focused. You did the right thing. Somebody's fabulous. You did the right thing. The Grinch settled down in his favorite old chair. He looked at his schedule in his cold, dark lair. His schedule was booked. He was busy, that's true. But what would you say if Cindy Lou Who asked you? You did the right thing! I am so proud of you! Ooh, sweet! You did the right thing! The cheermeister's the one who deserves a great toast, cause it goes to the soul who needs it the most. They fed him their pudding, he gobbled their fudge, they stuffed down more goodies till he couldn't budge. Somebody's fabulous! Brilliant! You did the right thing! Well, that worked out nicely. He slunk to the icebox. He eyed the Who feast. He took the Who pudding. He took the roast beast. He cleaned out the icebox as quick as a flash. And he even took their last can of Who hash. Well, that worked out nicely. Well, that worked out nicely. Somebody's fabulous! Somebody's fabulous! Every Who down in Whoville, the tall and the small, were singing out loud with no presence at all. And what happened then? Well, in Whoville, they say that the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. You did it! Hey kids, it's your DVD here. Take a look at my remote control. If you can't find it, look between the cushions on the sofa, under the coffee table, or maybe even in the kitchen. Find it? Good! Now, look for the arrows up, down, left, and right. Use these to tell me what you want to watch. You'll know where you are when the picture or words glow. When you have decided what you want to watch, press the Enter or Select button, usually found in the center of the arrows. Here's a game to help you learn. Use your arrows to move around on the dog, the cat, the horse, and the monkey. Choose the one you want to watch and press Enter or Select. When you are ready, select the door and return to the main menu. Choose the one you want to watch and press Enter or Select. 
When you are ready, select the door and return to the main menu. The care and feeding of a Grinch. I'm Max, I'm the dog, and my job is a cinch. I keep a close eye on my master, the Grinch. We look quite alike, if you see what I mean. Only my fur is brownish, and his fur is green. I know you are wondering, what does a Grinch eat? A stinky raw onion is his kind of treat. He likes food that's rotten. I guess you could say, the term for my master is Garbage Gourmet. That's me, standing guard just outside of his cave. I am scaring off Who's, and I have to be brave. Unlike all the Who's, who like Christmas a lot, my boss on the mountain absolutely, positively, most assuredly does not. Just where he went wrong, I do not know at all. It could be that his heart is a wee bit too small. He sneaks down to Whoville and likes to play pranks. I have to help out, but he never says thanks. One prank that we pull always works without fail. We hide in the P.O. and mix up the mail. A Who gal named Cindy once fell down the chute. I made the boss save her. She was kind of cute. The gal missed the stamper by one little inch. That day, Cindy Lou grew quite fond of the Grinch. Like me, that gal knew that my master was good. The Grinch was not evil, just misunderstood. To honor the Grinch, give him reason to care, was Cindy Lou Who's great idea of a dare. And so, Hoobulation, which happens each year, attempted to name him the Chairman of Cheer. The boss was too shy. He did not want to come. I used the old noggin and persuaded him some. I helped him to dress and to clean up his face, to come down and join in the whole Who Man race. I'm sad to report he was not a success. Too much food, too much noise, and way, way too much stress. Back up at the cave, as the boss sang a song, he dreamed up a scheme, and I, Max, went along. He put on a big suit of red trimmed with white. He made me wear antlers. We waited for night. We flew down to Whoville upon a great sleigh, and we made us some history that Christmas day. He stole the Who's Christmas. Yes, lock, stock, and toy. He unstuffed their stockings. It gave him great joy. He came in the night like an evil green breeze, and he snatched all the wreaths, and he swiped all the trees. But the Who's fooled the Grinch in a wonderful way, as they all came awake on that Grinchiful day. And from up on Mount Crumpet, we really could tell that the spirit of Christmas was still alive and well. And then out of nowhere, well, what do you know? His shriveled up heart must have started to grow. He gave them their Christmas. He brought it all back. Lock, stock, and toy in a great bulging sack. 
My boss now keeps Christmas alive in his heart, and I like to think that I played a small part. You have seen for yourself that it's really a cinch to give a dog hug to my master, the Grinch. The end. Hold still! Can I use your finger for a second? <laughs>